Just a simple survey of the chapters that we have in the New Testament on the life of Jesus really sheds some important information on this. There are 91 chapters having to do with the life of Christ on earth. All the Gospels and the first chapter of Acts totals out to 91 chapters. Five of those chapters have to do with his coming into the world. The incarnation, the birth of Christ, the angels, Mary, Joseph, and uh, all of these wonderful narratives that we have in the New Testament. 33 chapters are given to uh, the end of his life, to his death, burial, resurrection, and his ascension, which leaves 52 chapters on him working with people. And those 52 chapters have to do mostly with his training of the 12. So when we want to know what are the priorities in Jesus' life, it was taking those 12 men, spending time with them, discipling them, teaching them, modeling, letting them watch how he related to people around him and learning from him. Well, we know how effective that was because once Jesus left, these are the people who carried on the work, established the church, and as we read in the New Testament, these are the ones that turned the world upside down. So he, they were trained well, right? Uh, but I, I just think that sometimes we concentrate a lot on specific actions of Jesus in terms of him coming into the world or the cross or whatever it is. And as important as this is, if we want to see how he spent the bulk of his time during his earthly ministry, it was actually being involved in training people. <laughs> it is, you know, it's uh, Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, you know, and, and he was particular about the people that he chose too. You know, they, they didn't volunteer to be a, I mean, once approached, but uh, he was. I think Jesus studied people, and he looked and he looked and he looked, and there were crowds who were following him. You know, and um, you know, seventy disciples, one hundred and twenty disciples. We read of those numbers. And then it says, one night he went up into the mountain and he prayed. And then he came down and he chose 12 men. He said, I'm going to pour myself into these people. And, you know, if we believe in becoming like Jesus, in knowing him, and doing what he did, we should be taking similar interests in people and, and pouring into their lives.